Hey, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. Oh, Micromatic Menthol Monday. Why not? Oh, little Cafe Bustillo going there. Tonight's the instant variety, just because it is. Well, it's not as good as the ground. No, it's really not. I, this is true, but you know, drinkable, so it'll be okay. All right, so yep, we're going to do a Micromatic Monday and we're going to do Menthol Monday. We're going to combine them. Uh, I dug out some Bulgarian, favorite Bulgarian cream of mine, the Supermax Menthol. Really good stuff. It's uh, not only got menthol in it, but uh, it also said it's got aloe vera, vitamin E, and tea tree oil. But uh, anyway, made in Bulgaria. I like my Bulgarian cream. Rosa Bulgaria is another favorite of mine, although I don't use it as much as I should. But anyway, there you go, Supermax. And they've got more than one uh, variety of that, I understand. That's the only one I have, but I've seen others. We're also going to use this big old Maggard's Mix Knot that uh, been a little talk about over on Toast because of the handle that uh, Patrick made for us. He, he made a couple of those, one for him, one for me. So uh, I feel pretty good about that, that I got included in that. I put that big old Maggard's 26 millimeter monster it's not in there now. I don't know if there's such thing as too big. I'm sure there is. It's not too big, but, you know, it's big, and I don't normally use that big a brush, and there's really no need for that big a brush, but, you know, I've seen people with bigger brushes these days. For some reason, it took off, and people were getting bigger and bigger and bigger brushes, and I don't have anything to compensate for, so I don't need it. All righty, so uh, the clock proof tonight, and this one could really use some cleaning, I realize, but, uh, you know, I like the patina and everything on them, so I'm not too worried about it. Now... My understanding is that there was the clock proof, and then there was the peerless. And the difference is the peerless, where this has 12 of these nubs across the guard, the peerless had 17. And uh, I don't know, I think they shave the same. I don't think anybody could really say they shave any different, but you know, just a little bit different thing. But this is not, not the peerless set. And uh, these were, you know, the original twist open. They were twist open. I, I don't think they were the absolute first twist open razor. I think there was a uh, two-sided thingy, but it wasn't the uh, really famous two-sided thingy. I don't think that beat it. But anyway, they uh, they were making twist to open, I believe, before Gillette was, if I'm if I'm uh, correct in my thinking there. But anyway, everything's all behind the uh, blade stops and good to go. And uh, this particular Micromatic had its own nice little little box there, and that's what it what it looked like. So anyway, kind of neat. So that's what we're doing tonight. And then I got a comment in uh, on uh, one of my older videos asking about the Christie razor, how to load a blade and stuff. And uh, so we'll do a Christie shave before long. I dug the razor out to be sure I still had it. <laughs> and. Uh, I was sure I did. I don't, not something I would get rid of. But anyway, so we'll do a Christy shave here before long and take care of that. So the Supermax, really nice cream. And uh, it's not hard to lather. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the old slather it on the face technique. And we're just going to take some. And it doesn't take as much as I normally use. There's three, I think, three little dollops ought to do it just fine. And we'll get it going. So back to work tonight. Last week was a short week, and since I had uh, quit work in the second job, it was actually a short week. So it was really nice. I'll have to get back and find another job. But anyway, uh, it was nice to have a short week. Do some fishing. Some other things needed doing. Well, this big old, I think we can get rid of the old reading glasses here. I don't think I need them for this part. So we do the lathering the same as we do everything. Start with a fairly dry brush, just damp. Then we'll add a little water as we go. But you'll see when the water gets just right, that the cream will just come to life and you'll know. It's almost there. Almost. Supermax has got a nice scent to it. Not real good at describing scents, but it's a really nice little scent. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Mm. 
I've also heard that saying now we're cooking with butane, which was an improvement over the wood stoves. I'm guessing it's the reason they would use that one. There we go. Got us some good ladder going. Remember, we're not looking to ice a cake. Well, you see, it works just fine to uh, use paintbrush motions as opposed to swirling all the time. And I like using the swirl, and I love the people that get to holler, well, you know, you swirl around and you mash down, and that just tangles the brush and messes the brush up. I ain't had it happen yet. I've been doing this for more than a couple of minutes, and I ain't had it happen yet. All right, here we go. So we got a, about a three-use blade in here. I'm guessing it's three. I don't know for sure. I don't really keep up with it. It's still plenty sharp. You can tell from the first little slide how good your blade's going to be. This one's going to be great. Remember, it's a Micromatic, so we run it flat. That's the best place to start with a Micromatic is flat. That's what Jim recommended, and I find it does really well if you need to adjust a little bit from there because you're one of those special people that nothing works for you that works right for everybody else. If you're one of those, still a good place to start. And you can adjust it to your liking. All right. Micromatic Monday. Now over at Toast, we do Micromatic Monday, started by one of the members, but they opened it up for just about any gym razor. And uh, never went back and renamed it. It still says Micromatic Monday, but you can join in with whichever gym razor you want to join in on. We try to be... No, we don't. We don't try to be inclusive, because if we tried to be inclusive, we wouldn't be so stout on the uh, anti-two-sided thingy. We're inclusive to all SC shavers. How's that? Is that good enough for you? Can't figure it out. Fuzzy's not very politically correct anyway, but anyway. And Toast, we don't do double edge. We don't do single edge other than the uh, vintage single edge razor. Well, look at that. This big old knot sometimes. Let's see if I can. There it is. I knew I had plenty of lather in there. Big old knot of eat lather. Sometimes you got to work the lather back out of it. And we're not looking. Are you saying that's pretty thin on the lather? And it is. But it's a good slick lather. And especially for a second pass, that is going to work just fine. You need to go squeeze you a little lather. You know, that's your thing. These big old brushes, that is one thing about them. They will eat the lather. Force my hand off just a little bit. And we'll come across uh, across the grain. We're not going to do it against the grain as usual. I know there's people that like it. Some people judge a razor by the fact that they can do comfortably against the grain. Well, that's great. That's what you want. Knock it out. Ain't what I want. Well, speaking of toast, because that's usually what I do, um, Dave in Kentucky still got a really nice PIF going over there. It's got several razors in it. It's got an auto strop. It's got the peerless uh, clock proof. So if you're uh, if you haven't done any single edge shaving and you want to get into it, or if you've done very little and you want to get into it, a giveaway like this is a really good way to get started. Come on over, start chatting with us. You don't have to be. You know, we don't discuss the double-edged stuff. We don't discuss straight stuff. But still, if you want to get into this kind of shaving, come over and discuss it with us. All those other things we call unmentionables. Just remember that. So this cream is plenty, plenty slick. Very nice cream. But that's uh, TOST3.com. No spaces in there. TOST3.com toast the original safety three it's kind of the original safety two three but anyway tost was originally the original safety two too also and when we went to the third one i just tagged a three on it when i did the domain name so it's uh that's how the name came about if anybody cares all right well, this was just about a day and a half, two days growth, and it took care of it really nice. 
we're going to get our third pass in here and get it. But uh, anyway, come on over to Toast. I'm going to hype Toast in this video more. And uh, come on over and see us if you're interested in this single edge and, you know, injector razor shaving. There's a lot of, uh, well, there's more than there were. There's several uh, 3D printed single edge razors out there now. And we have one of the one of the folks that's, that's designing some of those razors. T. White, Tom, is one of our moderators. But he's around over there at times. I want to come talk to Tom about his designs. And it's a nice, quiet little place. You ain't got all the hassle you get at some of the bigger places. We're not pushing any kind of products like some of the other places. We're not pressuring you into buying anything. Nobody spends any money. Heck, I pay for the, I pay for the uh, form. But nobody's going to ask you for money. Just a place to show up and chat. We even got a section for gun guys called the range. That is password protected. You will have to ask for the password, and uh, you'll have to get along with the gun master, the range master, in there. But uh, I find that a lot of traditional wet shaving people can be gun guys too. There's a lot of chatter that likes to go on. And so there you go. So we don't uh, we don't do politics. But if you want to go into the range and talk guns, we're all for it. Trust me on this one. Alrighty, three pass microbiotic clock proof shave. Look at that. Beautiful shave. That'd be great for work tonight. That'd be great for anything you wanted to do. And we're going to finish up since it's a menthol Monday. We're going to use the uh, Day Logic here. Now, this was Rite Aid's drugstore's version of Skin Bracer. And I like it. But, uh, Walgreens bought all the Rite Aids out here. I don't know if that's just here or if it's all over. I don't know. Maybe Rite Aid went out of business. I don't know. But here in Baton Rouge, the Rite Aids were bought out by Walgreens. So I don't get this anymore. I can still get, you know, the Walgreens brand or I can still get the Men and Skin Racer, but I can't get the Daylight. And they're all the same, but a little different. If you understand how that goes. All right. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. Just another low key. Another shave. There we go. Nothing to really rant about tonight. We'll, uh, we'll pick up a rant one of these days. Uh, Michael, if you're watching, I uh, forgot to show you those blades I sent you will need to be dried off after you do a shave. You should be getting that today, maybe. I had to check my email. Maybe you already got it. But just hold them by the spine. Take a towel, dry them off. I meant to send some... Uh, stainless blades and I didn't do it so anyway what you have are my favorites anyway there we go all right well that's gonna do us for tonight I'm gonna finish getting ready for work y'all go do you know, whatever it is y'all need to do and we'll all roll right along we're gonna get the old flog proof back in its case here I need to get the dust off the case but anyway all sits in there it's a nice little set case still closes really nice and tight after all these years it's amazing how things were we're built to last. Probably need to be still be doing that, but we don't. We build to replace these days. Do. All right, but that's going to do it for me. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy menthol, micromatic Monday to you, and happy shaves.